The life of a plantation slave was a sad one of forced labor, poverty, and ongoing humiliation. Under the law, slaves were considered to be the property of the plantation owner, just like his farm animals. If you were a slave, you could be sold at any time and your family torn apart. If the ongoing misery of your life made you want to run away, you knew you would be hunted down and, if caught, brought back to the plantation, where you might be whipped or forced to wear a slave's collar like this one that had bells on it so the owner's men could easily find you if you tried to escape again. In the South, it was illegal for slaves to receive an education, to marry, to vote, to own property, to testify in court, or even to earn their freedom through work. There were two basic types of slaves on plantations. The luckiest were the house slaves who took care of the owner's house and family, while the field slaves worked in the fields from sunrise to sunset with just one 15-minute break a day. To eat, slaves were given meager rations, mostly of cornmeal, pork, and molasses. And every year, slaves received one new set of winter and summer clothes and a new blanket. Most slaves shared their small cabins with 10 to 12 people and slept on straw piled on a dirt floor. And so the lives of the slaves who did the work on plantations were filled with unending hardship, suffering, and poverty in order that those who enslaved them could enjoy lives of comfort, luxury, and ease.